Hey, what's going on, everybody? Billy Aiken here, and welcome to this video. Um, this is actually the very first video that I have done this year as far as going live. Uh, it's been a really long time since I've actually gone live on uh, Facebook and on YouTube, uh, mainly because I've just been so busy working on you know, the, the uh, several businesses that I have kind of working behind the scenes and uh, not really being on social media a lot. And um, just kind of, um, I've been able to kind of automate some of my businesses and I'm starting a new one. And what I want to do is try to get back into the swing of things. So that's why I decided to do this live video. Uh, but most importantly, I wanted to do this video to be able to, to help as many people as possible with a huge problem that I see in the marketplace today. And uh, this video is going to be all about the biggest mistake that I see affiliate marketers make today and how to fix it, how to correct it. Now, before I get started, uh, I would love to know who is watching this video. So let me know in the comments below uh, if you're watching it live. Let me know with, uh, with a hashtag replay in the comments if you're watching this on a replay so I can kind of kind of have an idea of, uh, of uh, you know, uh, where you guys are coming from. And, uh, you know, I'm just... Uh, this is just something I've been really wanting to, to, be, to talk about for quite some time because uh, it's something that really bothers me. So, um, you know, for all of you that, uh, that are in the affiliate marketing space, you know, a lot of you probably have experience with, you know, where you're going to get your traffic. Now, one of the oldest ways that is still being used today to drive traffic to affiliate offers, to try to sell courses, to try to sell products and services is by doing something called cold outreach. And that's literally just going to as many people as possible uh, and uh, sending, uh, sending direct messages to them uh, you know, on social media to, uh, to try to get them to come and buy their product or service. Um, um, cold outreach is, has basically been one of the most primary ways that affiliates have been trying to, you know, to promote products and services for you know, goodness, for, for years. And one of the things that I've noticed and when I, you know, transitioning into 2021 is that cold outreach as a traffic method no longer really works. And it actually, it's, in my opinion, it's very tacky, it's unprofessional, and uh, it's not scalable. You can't really scale it as a business. And, uh, and it really just doesn't work. It's more like, you know, throwing uh, uh, darts at a dartboard and hoping, you know, if you th throw 100 darts at a dartboard, you're hoping you're going to get that one bullseye. You're hoping you might get a couple of bullseyes, kind of like that, you know, or like the shotgun effect. If you're trying to hit a target that is, you know, uh, you know, a football field away, but you're trying to use a shotgun, all you're doing is just spreading out your ammo and the chances of hitting it. Uh, it's very slim to none. That's why you have to have like a sniper rifle, for example. But uh, what a lot of people do is they use cold outreach and it just doesn't work. And let me give you an example. I get messages on Facebook just about every day from people. And it could be anything from saying hello to, uh, hey, thanks for connecting. I see that we're in the same industry. So what do you do? Um, you know, all the way to just straight out pitching and selling and all of it together, all leads to somebody trying to sell me something. You know, if somebody sends me a message and says, hello, you know, I've tested it out uh, a hundred times. I'll say, hello, what can I do for you? And it's, Hey, I just wanted to share this product or service with you. And it just gets so annoying because all I get is these messages and it's gotten to the point where I can't respond to people anymore because there's a 99.9% .9 chance that if somebody is sending me a message, it's to sell me something. And that's not the way to do it. So here's something that I want to kind of give you an example so that you'll understand where I'm coming from. Okay. Whenever I look at uh, the top, you know, top 10, top 20 mentors of mine, people that are successful entrepreneurs. Okay. So let's name a few Dean, Dean Graziosi. Uh, Tony Robbins, Russell Brunson, um, you know, just, just to name a few. I mean, I can sit here and name so many more. Now, ask yourself this question. Do they direct message people to try to sell something? No, they do not. 
Do they go on Facebook and message as many people as possible and hoping, you know, whoever responds that they can pitch their affiliate link or their product or course, hopefully that somebody will buy. Do they do that? No, they do not. So it's something for you to think about. If they don't do it, then why are you doing it? Okay. Now think about this. Those same successful entrepreneurs, multimillionaires, right? When they first started in their career, did they, did they do cold outreach? Did they go out and find people and cold message them on Facebook and saying, hey, you know, I got this great product or service? No, they didn't. That is not how they did it. So to me, when it comes to affiliate marketing today in 2021, cold outreach is by far the worst thing that you can do. It just simply doesn't work. You know, it is not scalable long term. If all you're doing is just messaging people or you're going, you know, to a YouTube video and, and trying to do the different black hat, you know, strategies where you're going to comment uh, an affiliate link or, you know, the this person has a great course, go check it out. You know, those kind of methods do not work long term and they are not scalable. When I say scalable, it means that you build your business model uh, and then it's time to start scaling your business. You have sales that are coming in. You have customers that are coming in. You know that, uh, that your product works, that it is successful. Now it's time to scale, which is to get your product to as many people as humanly possible, to be able to get them all to come in and to be able to join your product or your service, your affiliate offer. But whenever you're doing cold outreach, you cannot scale that. I mean, what are you going to do? Use the software to send a direct message to 10,000 people on Facebook? I mean, all that's going to do is get your, your account shut down. I mean, you'll get your account shut down like that. That's called spamming. And unfortunately, when it comes to the affiliate marketing industry, spamming uh, has just become kind of the norm. And it's it just doesn't work. And believe me, I'm not saying you know, that I've never done it because when I first started in this industry years and years ago, you know, that's what was being taught in all the courses that I bought. So I went out and tried all these different strategies and direct messaging people and, and, you know, trying to connect with people and then send them messages or have them send me a message. Or, um, you know, uh, maybe I used a software like uh, GMAS or, or SendGrid or something to send mass emails out to to, uh, uh, to, to a, like a list of email addresses that I bought of people that are interested in business opportunities or doing solo ads, you know, all of that doesn't work. I know because I've actually tried it. I know because I've wasted thousands of dollars on it. I've, I've wasted thousands of dollars on solo ads. If you don't know what a solo ad is, it's where you pay somebody to send an email out to their existing email list, their existing customer base of emails, with your product and your service, your, your affiliate offer. And I have spent thousands of dollars and got so little sales. I honestly can't even think of a, you know, of a commission that I got that was more than 50 bucks. I mean, it just doesn't work. The correct way to do it is to do something called attraction marketing, where you have people come to you or you attract a, bulk of an audience to you. So here are some tips that you can use today in 2021 through attraction marketing to grow your business, uh, whether you're doing affiliate marketing or maybe you're uh, selling your own product or your own service or your own course. And that is very simply to, uh, to post on social media on a consistent basis, not once a week, not once a month, but I mean on a consistent basis. If you're just starting out, you should do it every day. I mean, every single day you should be posting on social media, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and you should be put and you should be delivering value, not selling. The moment you create a video and you just pitch and sell is going to be the is going to be when you're going to lose all your cust is going to lose all your potential customers. People are just going to jump off and they're not going to be interested if all you're going to do is sell. You create value. OK, um, you go to where your perfect customers are and you try to connect with them. So, for example, on Facebook, go to some Facebook groups um, of the uh, of the related industry that you're interested in, like affiliate marketing. 
and then go through and try to find people that um, that are struggling, that are interested, or trying to make it, or beginners trying to get into it, and and basically just send them a friend request. Don't send them a message. That that that's the whole point of not of what not to do. To just connect with them, and then at, you know create value based videos and content on a regular basis. Those people that you just added as friends are going to be looking at your content. They're going to be engaging with your content, liking, subscribing, sharing, commenting. Then what you could do is you can create, you know, really cheap paid advertising campaigns that are directed towards a custom audience of people that have engaged with your content. Now what you're doing is you're not doing cold outreach. You are trying to reach a you know, a, a custom based audience of people that are interested in what you have to offer. That's the correct way to do it. And when you go down that route, that's when you can scale and you can really build your business because people like uh, Tony Robbins, Dean Graciosi, Russell Brunson, uh, you know, Kevin David, uh, Dan Henry. I mean, um, I, I could go on and on. Uh, Russ uh, Ruffalo, I could go on and on of different entrepreneurs that have made a huge success of themselves, none of them do cold outreach. None of them cold message people saying, hi, how's it going? I'd love to connect with you. And as soon as they respond, by the way, I know of a great product. I mean, none of them do that. None of them. What they do is to create value. They add value. And then they take that custom audience of people that have engaged with their content and they go after them. Now, I'm not saying they don't do cold outreach because you can run, you know, advertising campaigns that are cold traffic, but cold traffic does not convert near as good as warm or hot traffic, near as good. But they are multimillionaires and they can afford to do cold campaigns. You, my friend, if you're just getting started or if you have some level of success or you're kind of successful, but you're not really where you want to be. You really don't need to be doing cold outreach. You need to be trying to build a custom audience of warm, hot buyer leads. That's what you want to do. So I really hope that you got a ton of value out of this video. Um, I believe that this is the biggest mistake that I see in the affiliate marketing industry um, that, uh, that I, I have a personal experience with because I have done it. And uh, I also have a personal experience with this because I get reached out to, I get messages every day. It's gotten so bad that I can't respond anymore because if somebody is, is, is coming, coming across as genuine, like, hey, you know, it's great to connect. Uh, how's the weather down there? Or uh, what kind of business are you in? 99.99999% of the time, they are not interested in me. They are not interested in you know anything to do with what I'm doing. All they're doing is just trying to get me to respond to them so that they can lead me down a path to them pitching and selling to me. And I hate that, and I cannot stress enough how that type of marketing does not work today. And if anybody tells you that it works, they are either lying to you or they're basically just saying that if you if you do 100 contacts a day, you might get lucky and get maybe one or two that are going to sign up. And that's how you're going to make your income. That's how you're going to be successful. And unfortunately, it just doesn't work. What are you going to do? Spend the next 30 years trying to, to message 100 people a day? That's ridiculous. What that's going to do is get your account shut down from people basically calling you a spammer. And so what I want to encourage you to do is to follow my advice that has been proven to work. It has worked for me personally. I've been able to build successful businesses uh, based off of these principles. And I want to encourage you to do the same. Now, let me know in the comments below if you got any value out of this video, what your biggest takeaway is from this. And let me know if you have any questions. And let me know in the comments below any uh, com you know, any topics that you want me to cover, that you want me to talk about. And I am so excited to have you here, and I'll be seeing you on the next video.